This is a video about how to use Banner to look up uh, the class schedule for J term or spring. Um, so uh, I'm going to, my screen obviously looks a little different than yours since I have a different, uh, I'm a faculty member. Uh, but you're going to go to the student menu um, and you're going to go to class schedule. So at the class schedule you can select what semester you want to look up. Um, let's start with January term 2020. We're going to click that. Um, you generally want to be careful of this one over here. You want um, the, any status to be selected uh, because, uh, you know, you don't want it to be only, you know, on, you don't want it to be any of these other things uh, in general. Um, the other thing you should do so then you go down here to let's say we're looking for theater courses in january term i'm just going to scroll down here to theater um, you only click this if you're looking for specific gen eds and whatnot i'll circle back around to that in a second um, and then you can select whether you know you want it to be non-traditional blended or hybrid uh, traditional online, right? So it could be any of these. In general, you can select any method. Just know that if you get a blended class, it's going to be a uh, class where you're going to have to um, be self-motivated. You should never do a blended or an online course if you uh, need face-to-face -face interaction in order to succeed. So a lot of people think they can do a blended course and then the like, you know, having a whole week to watch the lectures and then have something due is too loosey-goosey because then they try and do it all at the last second and they are not able to complete things in time. So you really should only do blended or online courses if you're going to be really self-motivated. Um, if you wanted to, you could uh, go down here to the days and you could select the days, the beginning and end time. But in general, you can just do a search. So this brings up that the only theater class that we're offering in January term is uh, Intro to Theater taught by Jeff Clapp in Admin 101. Um, and if we go back then... And we say spring semester, same choices. It's just the theater class, uh, theater classes that are selected. And I start. Um, then I'll see all the theater classes. Something to keep in mind is um, not only what day of the week these classes are, but also if they are half semester or full semester. So you can just look at these dates over here between 2 6 and 5 16. That's a full semester class. But there are some classes like hand drafting here. So hand drafting is the prerequisite for computer aided drafting. So, um, but that's both of those are two credit courses. Um, so if you look at this on here, you follow it across, um, you'll see that it, it uh, goes from 2.6 to 3.20. That's a half a semester course. Um, and then the second half uh, is uh, computer-aided drafting. Uh, and that is uh, from, you know, picks up where the other one lets off, 3.30 to 5.16. And that is a blended course. Um, I have that as a blended course for computer computer aided drafting because people move at different paces. Um, so in general, you can work on things on your own and there's still, I'll still be in class to answer questions. So if it works for you, you need to be, in, you need me to be there. Uh, and it's the only thing that's going to motivate you is coming to class. You can still come to class for that particular blended class. Um, and I will answer your questions, but it, it allows people who want to be at home in their jammies doing their homework. They can be at home in their jammies if they want to. Um, there's a few select days where everyone has to come. Um, and so, yeah, so then you're going to go down through here. Um, you know, some classes are going to fill faster than others. Stage makeup is very popular, so that tends to fill up very quickly. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, just keep an eye on if they are 15 week classes or seven week classes and what the credit hour is, which is right here. The credit hours are right here. When you sign up for classes, you can do that on your own as long as you've got the code from me. Um, and this here is the CRN. Um, that's the course registration number. Um, so it doesn't have that zero in the end. The end. That's the credit, just to make it extra confusing. Uh, but that CRN is what you need to input uh, when you're signing up for classes. So you need to be able to highlight that and put that in. Um, so you can just copy and paste that, right? 
Um, there may be some fancy new way, but I can't see what that looks like for all of you. Um, so the best person to contact if you're having trouble signing up for classes on your own um, would be someone in actual real academic advising um, over in the other in the in uh, the library. Um, also, I can't sign you up for classes. You have to sign yourself up for classes. I am here as an advisor and an advisor advisory capacity. Um, so I'm a resource for you to answer questions, but I, I don't physically do the things for you. That's up to you. Um, I know that you can find your time. So essentially in order to uh, sign up for courses, you have to uh, that begins at a specific time. So seniors get to register first and first years get to register last. Um, and it depends on if you are, uh, you know, what kind of uh, gen ed system you are in. Some Sometimes you can um, sign up earlier if you're, you know, in um, global studies or if you are in, um, uh, if you're going to be abroad or you are abroad, um, that can affect um, when you get to sign up for courses. So um, your time, I know that if you go to um, uh, your own uh, menu, um, it will say something in registration, like registration time. So uh, that information you can find uh, online as far as where to, that's in banner um, of when your sign up time starts. Uh, you can continue to sign up all the way through the ad drop date in the spring semester. Uh, however, those classes may fill up. If there's a class that you see that you really want to take, but it's already full. Um, I know a lot of students who have had a lot of success just checking every day they set a timer you know when they're having their coffee in the morning or something to check and see if there's a spot opened up in that class and they just check every single day until someone drops it or switches it out for something else or whatever and there's a spot open um, and then they snag that class so um, if you want it bad enough you just have to find a way to keep checking um, you can also always email the instructor very very formally um, and ask them to let you in over uh, the cap uh, that is something that happens less frequently but it could happen so it never hurts to ask um, some some professors may get a little surly about it because they never want to go over their cap that's a personal preference just don't take it personally just give it a shot see if they'll let you in the class um, a lot of faculty members will because they know at some point someone will drop drop um, in the first couple weeks. Okay, uh, that's all I have to say about that.